Hi guys, this is days 31 to 40 of our Project Russia journey, and we get one of the worst storms I've ever seen. But before we do get started, a lot of you guys still aren't subscribed, so if you did enjoy my videos and wanted to support the channel, go down and subscribe now, or maybe just drop a like instead. Thanks guys. Now, quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to try and start a survivor colony in the zombie apocalypse? Well, with today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli, look no further. These guys offer one of the best server hosting services I've ever seen. You don't need to get bogged down with the nitty gritty, just select how many players you want and you're off. From just you and a few mates to a full blown community, these guys got you covered. You can even get a two day free trial without any credit card details needed with my link below. So go check it out now. Thanks Indifferent Broccoli for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with it. Okay, we are back. Day 31 in Russia. We're looking good. We're looking good. We've got this amazing base here. Let's grab ourselves a bit of food quick. Let's have some spag bowl. Now, what I want to do over these 10 is I want to get up, finish here. I want to go to this building here. I don't know what it is. And a couple more around here just to see what it is up here because it looks quite interesting. Also, I want to get in this boat as well. That is the goal for these 10 days, I think. And then after that, the following 10, we're actually probably going to branch out a little bit and just see maybe go down this road here. So we don't have to go through the city and go in here and then down here because this this definitely looks like an airport, I think. You've got some, hopefully, some military buildings or something there. And maybe stop in here as well. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to explore. We're going to explore a bit i think but let's go and see what the weather's like today we might actually be able to get in the boat today probably take a little bit more food with us uh, let's take a couple of chips why the hell not uh, we got plenty of weapons with us we filled our water up we got food i think we just cracked straight on you know let's do it actually do want to move our generator because it doesn't actually reach our bedroom which uh, I'd like it to. Hopefully it's a military boat and there's loads of guns in there or something, or at least some kind of military armor or something, but we'll see, we'll see. Ah, look at this bastard here trying to get in. Hey, get off my door. Get off my door, you bastard. Get out of it. Oh, it looks busy up here. All right, so it looks like we're at the boat. Maybe this house as well could have some interesting stuff in. Looks like the, I don't know, the harbor master or something, maybe. Not really a lot in here. I like this picture of the fish, though. <laughs> Now we've got these containers or something. I can see the boat. This looks pretty cool, actually. Look at this. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to get in there because we don't have the ladders mod. Oh, oh, we can, it's a rope. Oh, amazing, I'm glad I tried that. Jeez, that looks pretty pretty clear. Okay, let's, let's go around this floor first. Just make sure it's clear. I'm the king of the world. Okay, this is the engine room. Oh, but we can take this, can't we? Look at this. We have a bed. We finally have a bed. Let's actually go and drop that off now. I don't know if the Project Russia mod pack has added the climb ladders. I don't think so. Or they've just retextured rope. Not too sure. You know, this would probably be a good base. You can only get in by the ladders. It's like a bit deserted, the boat. Doesn't look like there's going to be much military stuff. But it's fine. Okay, we got the mess hall by the looks of it. Let's actually eat some of this low calorie stuff now. Okay, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Ooh, water dispenser. Do we take it? Do we need it? I don't think so, actually. Okay, we got the, the captain's quarters by the looks of it. Oh, he's got a little balcony and everything. Look at this. I mean, we will take the water dispenser if there's nothing else here. Actually, no, let's, we don't need it. We got plenty. Oh, what we got down here then? Briefing room or something? Okay, the medical area. We will take beta blockers if they've got some. Another water dispenser as well. No, they don't really have any medical supplies in here, really, to say it's the medical center. Military stuff. Okay, so maybe it is military. Okay, this is like the storeroom or something, maybe. Yeah, there is a zombie in here. I can't see how many are in there. Sounds like it could be two. Just leave it a minute, see if any more pile out of there. There's a bloody barbecue he's got here. Oh, this is the engine room. Got a box, box of MREs. We'll take them. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely the engine room down here, isn't it? Do see some guns. Good condition as well. Is that a balaclava? What would that, would that replace anything? Because that would keep us warm, wouldn't it? Let's see if that replaces anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, it does our mask. I think I'd rather the mask, because that will protect us from the zombie uh, corpse sickness as well. And an AKM. Yep, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> oh, it looks like we've cleared it then. We may as well take one of them water dispensers, haven't we? Because there's not really much else down here. All right, well, pretty interesting stuff. As I say, we got a few guns. We got a water dispenser. We got a bed, so that's a plus. But we have finished the boat. Not a hell of a lot down here, but like I say, stuff we needed. So I'm not going to complain. I'm a bit worried about this zombie down here. 
Now, it's a shame we can't get any. We could probably build on over, but I don't think there's going to be anything in them, to be honest. Okay, we're at the cart. We made it. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, we are home. Let's see if we can get our stretcher out of the boot. We may have to drop off. Ah, uh, we can. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, we have free water dispensers. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll actually keep this chair. Cast. We will put it here to rest on if we need to. There we go. Can we sleep on that from this angle? Uh, looks like it. Okay, well, we'll try that later on. Let's have a look at this AKM rifle. Yeah, that's like, what, an AK-47 there? Nice. Oh, happy bloody days. What a result that was. Tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Maybe a base A. Maybe we'll move some more of them. Actually, you know what? We could just go and dismantle a load of them. Yeah, that might not be a bad shout. But it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Will this bed work? Yes, it will. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 32, we slept on our lovely, lovely camp bed, which is nice. Let's grab ourselves some, let's grab ourselves some chips. Why the hell not, Ivan? Right, now I think what we're going to do today is actually go and dismantle some shelves down by the warehouse and also bring some metal sheets up and put them on the rest of our house just for safety because obviously we don't know what the population's like so they could all end up piling on us you never know so many metal sheets down here as well oh and a propane tank we wanted that it's a real shame we don't have the vehicle armor mod because there's so much stuff here to put on it all right so we are short a little bit of a level but i reckon if we take all these sheets and put them on our windows that'll probably do as i reckon a level oh there we go look at that lovely all right, well, it looks like we've secured our little base, which is nice. Let's just jump over the fence here and go and have a look in the other side of these, see what we can see. There might be some good stuff in there, maybe. Being as the day is still early. Another generator on that roof there. Because you never know, there could be like a gun locker in one of these or something. Like this here. No guns in there, though. A lot of propane tanks. We'll take them. Why not? Do want to get some metal gates up on our base there. We got the, all the resources for it, so why not, eh? Oh, yeah, more axes. Another axe. Another axe. Yeah, that's the thing with PZ. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, we can make metal containers now with that magazine. Another generator. <laughs> They're everywhere. Ooh, a pickaxe. That does class as an axe, doesn't it, I think? We'll take it. Oh, we found some guns and a shotgun as well, actually. Yep, let's take that. Nice. So it was worth coming down here then. All right, let's have a look what we got then. We got a Mosin. Nice, nice, nice. We've got what looks like some kind of AK again. But we have the shotgun. It takes 12 gauge, but only one at a time. Hmm, okay. Um, <laughs> And we only have, what, 12, 12 gauge? Yeah, that's all we've got. So, yeah. Probably a shotgun. We're probably not going to be increasing that aiming skill anytime soon. A hundred days. Well, we ain't going to worry about filling that up anymore, have we? <laughs> okay, it is 11 o'clock. We're going to fill our water up and then we're going to get a bed. Ah, the generator still hasn't reached over here. Maybe the bulbs have gone, actually. We'll look at changing them tomorrow. We'll see then, though. All right, day 33. Looks like we got horrible weather out there, so we probably mm, do not look too bad. I'm not sure what we're going to do today yet, though. First things first, we will try and take these bulbs bulbs ah there we go we got light we got light nice nice all right I'll tell you what we'll do today let's just do a little bit of mechanics i think try and get another couple of levels or at least a level so we can take engine parts oh that's a bit annoying so the multi-tool doesn't register as a screwdriver either for mechanics it's not actually very good this multi-tool let's see if we can go get our can opener and see if we got a screwdriver anyone we'll just get rid of it and we did have a screwdriver but i may have thrown it away <laughs> ah no we got it we got it get out of here multi-tool oh look at this we didn't even check the boot there's bloody guns in there amazing oh we got more in here as well lovely we should probably check all of these ah oh, there we go leveling mechanics nice now can we actually repair oh we got fog now as well yeah i'm glad we didn't go out today can we actually repair the engine yes we can look at this get it repaired probably do with another brake pad as well let's go do that now well <laughs> after all that it we didn't even really really get an improvement because we damaged it trying to put it on all right well we'll just put the tire back on it we'll leave that for the time being we probably could repair it actually we need small metal sheets okay let's go grab some sheets i'll tell you what we could probably go and get some from dismantling someone in maybe the house or something down here let's get rid of this ak and that grab ourselves some food what is our weight 79 that's fine that's fine there's some bastards trying to get in here get out of it actually well right let's go dismount some cookers and stuff because that will definitely give us small sheets i think oh there's a duffel bag here with guns in look at this all right we got one small sheet from the fridge what about upstairs uh, we need cookers and stuff don't we i uh, got two small sheets okay let's go do the house that's in our 
in our area, in our base. This guy's still stuck in here. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. What about the gas tank? Two small marshes. Yeah, do it. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, but it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 34. Here we go. Now, the weather looks a little bit snowy outside, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, but what I want to do today is actually go and find Taylor in two. I think tomorrow we will go up to this place up here. Okay, there we go. Taylor in two. We got it. We got it. Let's see if we can find the third one while we're here. Taylor in three. There we go. Right, let's get back. It's lovely just having a bookstore over the road there. This guy does have body armor on him, though, so we will wear that. Thank you very much. And we'll take your AK as well. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. What a result. Okay, let's get reading Taylor in two. Okay, we've just finished it. Perfect time, about nine o'clock. So it's nearly time for bed. Absolutely perfect, actually. Let's drop that off there. Also drop our ill-gotten gains off as well. And Taylor in three. Grab a quick smoke and a little MRE as well. All right, but it's time for bed. We'll see you in the morning. We'll get back up to that little island there all right day 35 the weather is not looking good out there at all but we are not hanging around for another day nearly out of water with our sinks and toilets but we have all them water dispensers and ah, the weather's not too bad to be fair let's do it let's go let's just get up there and explore got a nice repaired jeep so we should be fine driving brakes should be better as well oh yeah look at that I'm actually going to go along the train tracks, I think, this time. What well, I believe is train tracks anyway. I can't really tell. Look at this storm. Right, well, we've made it to the checkpoint. I think we're going to go to that furthest building first, I reckon. Let's take a little detour down here. Oh, we got, what are these, storage units. Okay, we're not too worried about them. Okay, we're on the long road down to the end. It's not an airport anyway. Okay, so it looks like we're getting to the bottom. There is this one building here I want to check out. Okay, we are here. What do we have? Oh, okay, okay. Storeroom, have a generator down there. Not really a lot in here, actually. No. <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, we can go up to the roof by the looks. What's up there? Not a lot. <laughs> well, I suppose beans we're here, we may as well just dismantle some stuff. Five propane tanks. Jeez. Oh, hatchet we'll take. Ah, leveling carpentry. Nice, nice. How is the weather? Oh, still absolutely awful. Well, I think what we might do is we might actually just sleep here. Stay the night and then tomorrow we can go into the little town there can make a chair that's what we can sleep on it's not ideal but it's, it's it'll do okay well we got our home for the night <laughs> we're getting a little bit bored as well okay so it's 10 to 10 looks like the weather has cleared which is good we'll stay up a little bit later and hopefully tomorrow we can get in the town yeah half 10 let's go to bed make sure we close these doors right we'll see you in the morning if we survive okay day 36 we have survived and the weather looks good so we should be able to get into that town now we have had a couple of just slow base days this this one but you know there's no point rushing in and getting killed there is that little back road do we go down this which runs parallel to the main road this could be a bad idea but uh yeah we're not going down that <laughs> looks like we got more storage units Okay, we got a shop here. We have been here, but we could do with some food, so we will stop here. Okay, turn the motor off. Right, let's go grab ourselves some food and fill up on water. Ah, we got some chocolate, we got some chips. We'll take all of that. And all of that. <laughs> the junk food. What else we got in here? Anything? No, it is just food. Okay. All right, let's have a little explore then while we're here. Oh, we got like an apartment block. Really want to go in there, to be honest. Okay, okay. Oh, we got one more here coming through the trees. This looks like it could be some kind of shop. How the hell did you get in there, though? Okay, what is this? Oh, it looks like a school. Okay, well, we don't really need a school. Big old football pitch there. Nice. We got here more apartment buildings, I guess, or something. Offices, maybe. Hmm, what is this building? It's got barbed wire around it. Let's see if this is like some kind of security building. Uh, lockers and stuff. Could be. Let's have a look. Nope, it's locked. We're not going in there. This looks like some kind of power plant, I reckon. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at all these stoves uh, and a rifle. Terrible condition, so we're not having that. I guess they're powering everything with the uh, the antique stoves there. Nice. Yeah, more apartment buildings by the looks. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I think we've probably done this area. What is this place, though? Have we been in here? Oh, it's the hairdressers, okay. 
Looks like some kind of food store there. Ooh, these have come out of nowhere. Oh, okay, they came uh, as a bit of a surprise. I like how these houses have got, like, stuff outside. Really adds to, like, the world building. I don't really want to go in any tight rooms, though, to be honest. Oh, God, we got a fair few here. I thought the car was up here. We're a little bit low on uh, stamina as well. All right, okay, okay. Oh, we got in here. Some kind of mechanics by the looks. Don't really need anything in a mechanics. Right, let's get out of here. We've done this. All right, we are home, safe and sound. Nice. Okay, that was a good, good little excursion there. Drop this food off. We got. Actually, we may keep this on us. Ah, oh, no, we'll put the pop away. Yeah, we may keep these bits of food on us. How is our weight looking? Seventy nine. That's fine. Now, what I do want to do is just check our hood. 49, okay. That'll be fine for now, because we can repair the engine, but we've got plenty of hoods around, so that's absolutely fine. Tomorrow, I think we're going to still try and push down here a little bit, into the town, into the main city bit, I think. Or do we go down here? This looks like this could be like a parade of shops, maybe. Yeah, let's go down here, I think, into the center. But it's 20 past 11, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 37. Let's just get cracking straight away. We're going a little bit of food, as usual. Oh, we got some on us, haven't we? Oh, yeah, of course we have. Let's have a little snack. Let's have a snow globe. I'll have two snow globes. Why not? A little smoke. Right, let's just get on down there, shall we? See what we can see. Nice gun, sir, will be good. Yeah, the bonnet has taken a little bit of a beating, but it's fine, it's fine. We can replace it. Let's go south. Oh, it looks busy it's fine it's fine yeah, let's actually park up here oh no there goes the hatchet let's get the axe oh i'll actually get rid of that hatchet because we've got plenty of them you know what let's use the machete okay well that's them dealt with let's go down on foot i think oh yeah there's a lot down here okay oh okay Right, let's go looting. Yeah, look, we got some shops here. Could be some good ones. That's a bar. <laughs> oh, we got a lot down here. We got a lot. So we got some apartment buildings there. I'm staying clear of the apartment buildings. Sounds like there's a lot of them in there. This building here looks pretty interesting. It looks like a school. Brilliant. <laughs> no police stations yet, though. Oh, we got a fair few down there. And this red building looks important, so we can have a look in there as well. Oh, we got another prepper. Anything good on him, we'll take the ammo. Don't know if that's actually going to work in any gun, though, to be fair. Another little shop here. What is it, like a butcher's or some grocery store? Okay. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Ah, this looks like a normal shop. Okay. Let's have a look, just in case it is guns. No, it's just the general store. There's a bloody lot of them around here. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay, well, I think we head back for the day because we're probably going to start getting tired soon. And then tomorrow we can drive down a little bit further now we've cleared it. Okay, we've made it safe and sound back to the car. Let's get the hell out of here. I'd actually leave the car here, you know. What I do want to do as well is actually get rid of this axe because if we've got a machete, we may as well use it, to be honest. Oh, I thought we... Oh, it's broken. Okay, okay. Well, let's take some of these hatchets then. These dark ones seem to be better. There we go. We got a couple of hatchets and a machete. That'll do as that'll do. All right, but it is half past 10. Well, 20 to 11 now. We're out of water there completely. That's fine. We'll fill up at these. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're pushing back into the city. We'll see you then. Okay, day 38. Let's grab some food and get back down into that town centre. I'd actually take an MRE today, I reckon. Get that in, yeah? All right, no point wasting time. Let's just get bloody down there and get killing some Zeds. Oh, my Lord. Where the hell did all of these come from? We should probably deal with these. <laughs> Let's go park up down here and then we'll come back up. Oh, God, there is loads of them. Machete time. Beta blocker time. Oh, that was a lot. There's still more up there as well. Yeah, look at all the bastards around our car. Come on, let's have ya. Oh, okay. Look at this bloody idiot stuck on the car there. Oh, he's free, he's free. Well, let's go up and see if there's any more hanging around up here. How is our axe? That's got to be nearly another level. Yeah, so close, so close. Oh, I think that's a lot of them. 
Right, let's get back to the car and we'll drive down. The weather, it's got darker, so I think we've got a storm coming. Okay, we're further down. There's a lot of Zeds. We should be okay, I reckon, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. They ambushed us. Cool, they are everywhere. Let's get the machete out for this. Oh, it's got very dark. Yeah, we got a storm coming in. Oh, okay. Well, we got through a load of them. Okay, well, we're back down to our car. Let's try and get on this main road to our south here. Ah, oh, leveling axe. Nice. Are these shops? No, they're just houses. Okay. Okay, so we are on the main road here. God, FPS is taking a right old hit. Let's try and clear some out, then I think we're going to have to head back, you know. Maybe let's go and have a look what this is first. <laughs> Can't resist. Now oh, we got shops. It's a shop by the looks. General store. Yeah, like a food store. Oh no, the hatchet's gone. They don't last very long at all. Okay, I think we get out of here. Let's not push our luck today. Yeah, look at this storm. It's awful. Let's go. Stuck in a bloody blizzard or something. Okay, we are home. Freezing wind chill. Okay, we gotta be careful here. What a bloody storm. Jeez. Okay, we are home safe and sound. Let's have a look at the engine here. Yeah, we're going to replace the hood. Let's get a wrench. Let's do that now. Actually, no, we'll do that tomorrow. Let's get in from this cold. Oh, at least it's not freezing inside. Two degrees. Grab ourselves some food. Actually, let's grab another hatchet as well before I forget. There we go. Let's have a smoke as well. Calories are dropping, so let's have some junk food. Is it like outside? Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Look at this. Minus 11. Not horrendous, but freezing wind chill. Body temperature is still okay. Okay, though, 37. Eight degrees inside, nice. <laughs> we'll take that. All right, it's 10 past 10. We're probably going to go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be a base day. I think we're going to replace our hood. And, well, if this storm's still going, we won't be going out in this. But we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 39. Now, it is actually in the minuses in our bedroom. Is this because we don't have a radiator in here, maybe? No, that's just what it is inside. So we may have to start sleeping with the stove on, possibly. Get some chips in us. Let's also drop this ammunition off. What's it like outside? Oh, God, look at this. Look at this. Horrific wind chill. 20 degrees colder than it actually is. Okay, well, let's let's get this hood changed over quick. This is cool. This is really cool, actually. 72. Okay, let's take it. There we go. We got a nice new hood. I do actually want to look at repairing the trunk as well. Maybe we go grab some metal sheets. Do we have any metal sheets, actually? Yes, we do. Okay, let's do that quick. God, minus 18. There we go. We repaired her. Nice, nice, nice. God, this storm is horrendous. We're not too cold, though. We are well insulated. Okay, so yeah, look, we're on the, we're on the upper side of normal, which is good. Our insulation is very high everywhere. That's good. That's good. So actually, maybe we would be okay outside. It's just the visibility in this. That's the problem. Okay, so it's starting to get warmer. So it looks like the storm is passing. Yeah, I'm coming through a wind chill. So it looks like it is passing, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. We just got snow now. Lovely. No blizzard. <laughs> okay, but it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning for day 40. Wow. Okay, day 40. Still minus three in the house. Early hours in the morning. So yeah, we may have to look at getting that stove going how is it outside no storm uncomfortable wind chill but that's fine minus 19 though okay so the next 10 i think we do keep trying to push down here a little bit maybe spend the next 10 in the city and then venture out after that over to here here and here maybe that's gonna be a long old drive i wonder what that is probably some kind of substation or something but yeah we got a plan we got a plan we can actually put an x on this island because we have done it there we go we actually got yeah we actually got down to there so we'll put an x there as well but we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as we never do on a 10th day so we're going to leave it there for this episode so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it really fun one this one and i will see you in the next one cheers just want to give a massive thank you to all of our youtube members but big shout out to everyone on the shambler tier john smith rob jones 309 basehead akuna whiskey mcdaddy too cool norm slater sudsy 34 jasmina composition geek love nails and a coach in lunacy thanks guys really appreciate it